What's up guys, this is Cody, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Art Survival Evolved. Just playing. <laughs> okay, that was kind of cheesy. Alright, anyways, today I'm going to do something a little bit different, okay? This has been requested from a subscriber of mine, but I also think this will help anybody who wants to change the settings in your Art Survival Evolved world. Now this will only... And I mean only work if you are hosting the server yourself or playing in your own single player world. Okay, so just take note of that. So this will not change any settings that are already preset for a PvP server or a PvE server that you are already playing on. An admin has to do this. Okay, so let's just go ahead and move on with the tutorial. Okay, if you see my cursor here on the right hand side of my screen. You're going to double click on your Steam account and you're going to make sure you have the Arc Survival Evolved game highlighted. You're going to right click then and then scroll all the way down to the Properties tab. You're going to click Properties and then up here at the top you're going to look for the Local Files tab. Okay, And then below it's going to show you uh, a series of different files you can actually click on. Well, the only thing you need to be really concerned about is clicking on Browse Local Files. You're going to click that and it's going to bring up this, this, this document here or folder or whatever. You need to then click on Shooter Game, double click, and then it's also going to open up these folders and documents. Well, you need to click on Config the config folder and then it's going to also open up another series of documents. The thing that you need to be concerned with is scrolling all the way down to default game user settings. Double click on that it will open up this document in Notepad or Microsoft Word which whatever you have. I have Notepad I don't have Microsoft Office. Okay well it's going to have your server settings and here again let me just say this will only work if you're starting a new server or playing in a single player world and it has all the different settings that you see when you actually host a server or play arc for your uh, um, n you know your dino damage your XP multiplier and stuff like that okay well here is just a temporary thing that I just set up for you here this is what I've done in my world. Now, these aren't actually my settings, but I just did something stupid and saved this, okay? I'll have to change it back. All right. If it were me and if I were playing in a single-player world, what I would be concerned with is a nighttime speed cycle, which is right there. Um, a XP multiplier, which is right here. A taming speed multiplier, oop, hello, it, which is right here. A harvest amount multiplier. And, well, two more. A harvest health multiplier. And then a resources respawn multipli multiplier. Okay? Now, you can change these settings to whatever you want to. I'm sure you can change it to a million if you want to. But, honestly, it's kind of ridiculous. But whatever you change and change it to, after you do that, you got to click file and then save. Okay? I'm not going to do it. But that's all you have to do. And then you exit out of that folder and then exit out of that folder. And then you close your properties folder and then you exit out of Steam. And once you've done that, all you will have to do is then click, double click on your art game and it will bring it up. As you hear it in the background and once it loads up I'll just prove to you that it works so okay thank you oh we got an update okay so then you go to local slash host click on that and then there goes your settings and they will already be preset as to what you already put in there so that concludes this tutorial on how to change your default game user settings for our survival evolved until next time guys peace